with kids, a local man thought it was his destiny to be a social worker. When that career, as he says, ran its course, he started antiquing. Eventually running his own estate business. We want people but many us. Minnesotans still in opits for his clothing stores, where you can find discounts on designer brands up to 70% off. How he does it is what makes him a Minnesotan to be. This is what a warehouse of 5,000 dresses looks like. We buy from many, many sources and we buy from many uh, department stores. Here are 800,000 pairs of shoes, 150,000 ready for sale. Most of the people that provide the product that we have in here, 80% of it is with people I met more than 10 years ago. It's those relationships with Lynn Opitz that have fans of his outlets coming back week after week. Sometimes we put limits on things and that's kind of weird, isn't it? We, put, we limit how much somebody can buy. There are three stores, the original in St. Louis Park, a newer one in Minnetonka, each offering goods up to 70% off. The product that we um, uh, have here is a product that's 99% uh, perfect. And the product at the Annex is things that didn't make that scale. The Annex is next door to the St. Louis Park store, where you can sometimes find merchandise for a buck. That's one of our biggest challenges of all, is to spread the product out among all the shoppers. In the beginning, times weren't always so successful. Uh, up and down, really a roller coaster, because I didn't really know how to run a business that was growing like that. Probably because Lynn stumbled his way into merchandising. After graduate school, he worked as a social worker. I got interested in antiques. I um, just started putting around in different stores and so forth. That led to four antique stores where he started shopping estate sales in the 1980s. And then I was always in line for estate sales. And I'd always do that rush. And then all of a sudden I thought, why don't I get on the inside? 60 employees later and banks asking him to liquidate businesses, another new idea. A friend of mine came up to me and he said that, um, you know, if you'd like to do this full time, there's people that sell off the apparel parts, the stores that sell off their apparel parts themselves in big quantities. He thought that sounded fun, so he tried it. I guess it's because we're a lot younger than you. We thought about things differently. The first sale they ever did involved shoes. It had people lined up down the block. He eventually closed the estate business and focused strictly on the discount store in 1989. I think it was pretty exciting in a lot of ways and we felt like we could do it even though there wasn't any evidence of that. <laughs> By 1992 the bank was getting ready to close up shop but Lynn worked on relationships on the inside bringing in local consultants from the University of Minnesota. What he taught me was how to, you know, not sell off all the good stuff at one time and how to flow an inventory and how to keep it fresh. He started working with new partners from New York. Much of the inventory comes from stores in that state as well as California and Texas. This is the business is still growing every, every year. Lynn spends eight hours a day on the phone searching for new designers and stores looking to unload goods up to four times a week. Whatever business you want to be in, find some people that have done it already and have been successful and know what they're doing and listen to them. He has listened to a lot of people and he now has 100 employees. He really credits a lot of them for helping him kind of keep this momentum going throughout the years. His son Scott runs the shoe warehouse. So you saw a number of warehouses in that story. I, of course, fell in love with it there <laughs> uh, because there are 50,000 pairs of shoes just ready to kind of get out on the floor. And those are fall and winter shoes right now. So you have to constantly be thinking ahead with those types of, sure. of trends. It and looks things. like there were some really big brand names, too. There are. That's he's. That's why he's constantly looking for new designers, though. So there's kind of that middle of the road. You know, I asked him, how is this different from like a Marshalls or TJ Maxx where you see the middle of the road kind of Calvin Klein's, Ralph Lorenz, that kind of stuff. He said what they do is they actually have product made for them under those names. Sure. He is constantly going to other stores pulling product that was on the higher end of stuff but maybe didn't sell all of the inventory off in stores. True outlet. A yep. true outlet. So yep. a lot of dresses, a lot of shoes. Is this women strictly? No, it started as a men's store, and that's a lot of men in town loved this place because they could go get a suit. You can get really nice shoes, uh, discounted very cheaply. So actually, uh, last week, they, every week they have a weekly special. Last week was all sporting goods, too, for men, hmm. so a lot of golf items and that kind of stuff. Cool. Perfect. Good time of year for that sale, too. Yep.